This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of Telltale's The Walking Dead series. In the last episode, we were able to uh, locate the fuel, luckily Kenny and then we were able to get it before we even had to worry about it. And we were trying to get the medicine, but found out it was uh, locked by a combination. And we found out the combination was just clearly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know, that's the kind of thing an idiot would have on their luggage. But anyway, we were able to find it by finding some medical tapes, finding out that a pregnant woman was being forced to terminate her child, but then she ended up killing the doctor and a bunch of men to make sure that never happened, thus ruining this, uh, wouldn't say a perfect society, but one that had been settled in the apocalypse. So one person's selfishness doomed many others, and those who may have been a blame, well, not maybe blameless, but those who weren't, didn't deserve it. But it doesn't matter now, they're all dead and walkers now. And then finally, a secretive third tape we found indicated that Molly had been sleeping with the uh, with the doc here to get some medicine for her sister, who I assume was part of the part of uh, Crawford as well. And then I guess maybe, and then Molly maybe left, or maybe her sister left, and they were taking care of her or something like that. But yeah, it looks like her motivation is to save her sister, whether older or younger. So I guess there's some. I guess we can don't hate her as much, but still, you know. You know, don't judge people for sleeping with other people. Yeah, you know, our modern society is too, uh, too judgy about that type of thing. I don't know why. It's like, we're okay with violence, but as soon as the thing's sexual or sleeping with other people and all this other stuff. You know, I'm not a fan of sleeping with other people if you're clearly breaking a relationship tie to another person. Like, if you're in a relationship and you haven't talked to them about sleeping with other people, then yeah, you're scum. But if you, like, sleep around and you've all, you're have all you all consenting adults and all this other stuff, then I don't think we should give them crap for that. You know, don't be like, are you whore? You know, I'm like, why? Why do Jesus we... Whoa! Christ. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. No, you haven't. I'll you've been trying to find something else. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. You better have that battery. We're gonna blast you. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna fucking stab you. I mean, uh, thank you for not losing it. Here you go. Thanks, don't sound too excited about giving me that. Wait, how'd you put that in your pocket? What's Damn it, main protagonist and, and, and full pockets. I know, but... You lied to you me, lied dude. To me. What? You said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you I on a security it. tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. I didn't lie. I asked you how you, you. knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. You I said you, are you like an elf? About Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth. Are we really gonna do this now? Sure. It's up to you. Drama. I used to Yay, live drama. here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Hmm. Then the rules started coming down. No Ooh. one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's Ooh. rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's oh, yeah, when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. Oh, so she's no longer living. She's dead now. Oh, well, you know, that sucks, but... This is all I have left now. of her. Aw, she was cute. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? I don't care. I don't care about your life story, Molly. Then maybe you shouldn't have asked. It's just that me and my people, we, we got our own problems, you know? Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Well, who doesn't these days? What the so hell? out for their own. Yeah, I was like, yeah, whatever. Get the hell out of here. Great, but yeah, the, it, the whole diabetic thing reminds me of a book called *The Something Comet* or *Lucifer's Hammer*. That's it, where one of the main characters in it was diabetic and he was a doctor trying to trying to get the world back on track before he succumbed to his diabetes. Whoa, Jesus. Was, whoa, yeah. Ben, you motherfucker! Sorry, sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone. What are you coming. doing, asshole? What the fuck are you doing out here? 
Wait, Kenny why do you have the... Kenny and I can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Wait, you took the hatchet. Oh my god, you moron. Ben, where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. You fucking moron! <laughs> Shit! No! Great. Oh, smooth moves. Yeah, looks like she's got this, so... Shoot this fucker! Yeah, you've got it. You're good. It's fine. Yeah, see, you've got it. You're fine. Oh, you lost your hatchet thing, though. Uh oh. Oh, that ain't good. We're out of bullets. Uh, you're on your own! Skeeze it! Aw, oh, man, if only I had. If only I had fired, I was afraid of shooting her! What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, Ben's shit. a moron. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now no. how do we get out? Through the armor. Oh, yeah. We can just get this damn door open. Thanks, Come on, ben. damn you! Where's Molly? Uh, uh, yeah. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait, I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, no. I'm so sorry. Not the time. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, yeah, exactly. save it for later. I opened the door. Yeah, let's get out of here. Ben, ben shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. Oh, I can't thank, do thank this you. anymore. It's hey, you can't curse me. Along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. What? Dang it. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh, you chose a really bad time to do that, dude. How about we mess with this later? Yeah, kick his ass later, kick dude. Man. I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife the child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Yeah, we gotta go. Sorry, man. Hold that anger. If They'll this turn asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Fine, we'll, Kenny, we'll put him to the boat. Upset. I understand, but you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure, take a vote. This is America. Fuck it. But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not uh -oh. big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I hmm. vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's cut him loose. He's pretty much worthless. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the bye. rest of us? Don't we get a- <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, bye. She's dead. Oh man, that sucks. Ooh! Oh my god. That was... That was kind of ridiculously unnecessary. <laughs> just pulled her test out just like just like a snap. Like, it was that easy. I guess zombies must have, like, triple the strength of what humans had in real life. Yeesh. She kind of didn't deserve that. But she's dead now. Oh, that's not gonna hold. So much for the armory. Let's What's get out of here. Up to the top rounds. or down below. That's it. Oh, good. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just now, fucking Oh, great. because you broke Come it. On. Right. There's got to be a way out down here. Down? All right, let's try it. Is it you? Oh, God. Hello. Fuck! Goodbye. It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. <sighs> Nuts. What are you? Oh, a gun? Lee, look! Thank you! Woo! 
Nice throw, I guess. Uh oh. Oh wow, that's got some kick to it. <laughs> Shoot one, maybe I'll distract him. Uh oh, alright, back up, back up. Oh. Get away, man. I'm urban. Don't get closer. Oh, I keep missing the one guy I want to hit. <laughs> Woo. All right. We got plenty of ammo. We're, we've got like Herschel's magical, magical uh, shotgun of, of awesome because it it never runs out of bullets. Uh oh. Ah man, come on. Ah, uh, not my intestine, man. Instead of going for brains, the zombies go straight for the intestines in this game. I guess. I guess that's where all the juicy bits are. I'll shoot this guy and actually hit him this time. There we go. Right. Oh, got another one. Oh, come on! I hit them! Ugh. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot the one and then just try to pull out. I'm not trying to fuck up on purpose. You know what I mean? Alright, shoot this guy. Okay, let's try to. Then shoot that guy. Break it in again. Right, we should almost be done. There we go. Damn it, piece of wood. Come on, Lee, you got this. You've already died multiple times in multiple multiple timelines, but uh No, oh, thanks, Chris. I thought you hated me. Time to ha time to hatch these guys a question. Uh, okay, it doesn't work well as an axe, but still. They're di they're dying anyway. They're getting knocked off. They didn't die from that. They're gonna die from the fall. <laughs> the fall will most likely kill you. It seems like right trigger also counts for using the item. Weirdly enough. Yep. Oh, why did you stick in his brain? Oh, that was pretty smooth. Nicely. He worked some moves over time. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are why we waiting for? Question? Go, go. Yeah. Why did you ask that question? That was a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, that's probably fine. All right, everyone out. Everyone out there. Come on, let's go. Wait. Oh. Who rang that bell? That was probably an accident. Or maybe it's on the time. Oh. Oh! Uh, well, we did need to cut him loose, didn't we? That's yeah, fine. Bye, Ben. Bye. Ooh. Nuts. Yeah, distraction. For the rest of the zombies. Hi, Ben. Even in death, you were worthless because we were still being chased after by these zombies. Well, two dead. Or three dead, actually. Man, Lee, we're, we're kind of a fuck-up, aren't we? Man, we got three characters die. Well, Bria, there's no way to say... By the way, there's no way to say Bria. She just dies no matter what. <laughs> you can't, oh, like, save her no matter what. Clementine! Where are you all? Clementine! Wait, Sounds like something inside. Get your guns! Come Whoever out, you I'll are. shoot you. Come out slowly, or I'll shoot you right through the door. Bam! Oh, no. All right, dramatic tension music. <laughs> get ready with that trigger. Oh, it was a walker. Well, how Jesus did he get? Wait, how did he get inside? Where the hell is Clementine? Clementine! That's not good. Oh, thank God. She's safe. Oh, the precious girl is safe. Back. Told you I don't I care that Ben that. or, did you find or Molly's parents? dead. Uh, distraction. What happened here? What happened here? One of those things tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. But what about my upstairs? Oh, me. Oh, she's dead. Or, I mean, he's dead. And nice try. At least you're alive. Real good. 
Yeah, it only matters that you're alive. I don't care about. Uh. Hey, yeah. Say we go check on Omi. Yeah, let's get out of here. Krista, yeah, that's right. Everything okay? Omi. Man, well, sorry, dude. Sorry, lady. Your man's dead. Stay away from him, Krista, man. He could turn into zombie. Stay back. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh, oh. Oh, he's alive. Holy crap. Hey. Back already? I was about to shoot you, dude. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Oh, is it just pills? That's it? Great. The Where's Ben? Equalizer. He didn't make it. What didn't happened? he know that we didn't save him? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Yep. Sorry. Well, actually, I don't think you can shoot Ben. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, she'll understand. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand. Right? She will. She's gonna have understand. to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay. With a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, I guess not enough time to feel bad for what happened Maybe to now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Oh, that's always good. Now what? So Bree died. Sorry about that. So you'll be getting out of here then? Get, getting on so the road? You return into your group now? Yes, but not before I give you a piece of my mind. Oh, you don't have the right. Fuck off. You Fine, don't think by anyway. now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. There Look at be. what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now, just hold on yeah. a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm what? here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not going to make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. Now, you may not yeah, care will. about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Yeah, that's subjective. Why? I'm going to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want no. for her, isn't it? To be safe? No, she's my, she's my precious and give you a chance to walk away which you ought to do right now before I cap I know you ass. think you're doing what's best for her and if you were her real father we wouldn't be having this conversation but you're not Ooh. and staying with you is not what's best for her if no one else around here will tell you that then I will you're getting right, right up for a smack that bottom dude Mark here. we've been through more together than you can imagine anyone who tries to get between me and her anyone it's gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Yeah. Take you better your back up. Hands off me. Maybe I don't want to take your hands off of you. I'm surprised he just let him do that. It just stopped. I would have been like, Yeah, walk away, old man. I'm the man here. I'm the man. She's my precious. No one'll hurt. No one'll harm her while I'm around. And I won't let her do Please anything forget. ever. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. Oh, good. He should be. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? <sighs> I don't know. Paris, France. We're gonna we're gonna just you leave, kind of run around. We're going to go our own way, just like we agreed. We don't need anyone else. It's just gonna be the two of us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened yeah. to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Look, look, look. He, uh... He, he was... He was 
you know, hey, a bird! It won't do any good to dwell on it, Clementine. I want to know what happened. Ben was my friend. I liked him. I did you? Clem, I did too. And maybe I could have done more to save him. But I had this is what happens to boys like you, Clem. Not just one person. I'm gonna make but sure I'm you never touch a boy person. ever. Not to me, you know. Before we leave the tomorrow, whole world, will we have time to look for my parents? Nope. <laughs> yes, a lie. Yeah, no, let it go. Clem, I'm sorry. But they're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementine, I, I know you don't want to give up on them. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. And they won't remember you at all. They'll want to eat your face. Your intestines first, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, this is awkward. I'd probably be like that in real life too, actually. I'm not a very... Despite my feelings and everything, I'm not a very good person when it comes to consoling people and all this other stuff. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm emotionally dead, but... Uh, uh, I have a weird sense when it comes to emotions. And not like, oh, you shouldn't have emotions, it's bad, and all that. I'm just like... I've been like that ever since I was, like, young. I, bl I blame having a... Having a a measles measles shot and I'm still a big fan of taking your shots but I had a bad reaction to a, a measles shot when I was younger and I think that kind of slightly affected my mentality on things you know messed with my brain I know that's not a full excuse but uh, um, Clementine? but I, I give I give it as an explanation of why my my sense of things is a bit jumbled at times oh yeah Clem disappeared where the, where the hell did you go uh, well, she did go to sleep crying, so it's like, you know, I had to tell her that we can't find her parents. Her parents are probably dead. It's about time. I thought we told her that earlier, but because of the guy on the walkie, we, uh, but I guess because of the guy on the walkie, she thinks that they're still alive. All right. Well, let's find, uh, let's find, uh, Clem and... Clementine? Clementine! And get out of here. What the? God. <gasps> no! No, not the girl. You can't touch the girl game. No, Clem is precious. You don't touch the cute little seven-year-old. Or eight-year-old. I don't know how old she is. Doesn't matter. She's precious. D for down to... Oh, no, no. Don't even think about that. Down to die. No, she's not dead. Wait, the walkie. Why is the walkie out here? Clem? No. She's... She's not. She can't be. No. We won't believe it. No. There's too much, too much death. Oh, God! No! Get off me! No. T you motherfucker! Well, it wasn't Clem, but she's gone. What? No. Oh, God. No. 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 Oh, fuck. Lee? The main... Lee? You out here? Lee? The main protagonist got bit? No. You, you, could, you wouldn't do that game. No. It was a scratch from the wooden boards. What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Yeah. Lee? Uh, Where's oh crap. Clementine? She's if not they tell room. because of Herman how much of an asshole I've been. Uh, what the hell uh, is going on? Uh, it, Whose blood is that? <laughs> it's a walk. It's fine. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Yeah. Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. So Whatever they took, kidnapped her because he hated me so much? Find her. Yeah, we gotta find her. I'm going at it alone. I can't trust you all anyway. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. 
Lee, man, are you sure that's how you want to do this? I'm sure. This is on me, no one else. Thanks for understanding. It's better this way. We'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure we can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Good luck, Lee. I mean that. Yeah, no, I've been an asshole to all luck. of you, but, uh... You too. I've got this. Besides, I'm bit. Who knows, at one point I'll turn and bite them all. Perhaps it's best we leave as is, and, uh... We face on to the dawn and save Lee, uh, Clem before before we turn and save her from whoever caught her. Will Lee be able to save her? Well, we'll find out. Oh, we haven't hit that point. I thought the uh, I was I actually thought the chapter end was now. I was actually preparing for the credits. I was like, oh right, I forgot there's a little bit more section to go. Whoops. Where the hell are they? Oh well. This is either gonna be a really long episode. Or I'm gonna I have to oddly split it. Oh well. What can you do? Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt. Yeah, that's a lie. We're gonna kill you. We've we've already killed multiple people on our way to get here, so. Man, rough to do this by ourselves. As far as I know, you can bring basically everyone with you if you... I don't know if Molly can come with you if you save her, but... Uh, um, it, although the hardest one to get is... is uh, Actually, I'll talk about this later. Never mind. I want to wait till the, the credits when we actually get to it. Uh-oh. That's not good. Why are there so many of them outside? I didn't hear any bells or anything like that. Oh, good. Here they come. Clem! Are, are you alright? Where are you? You're not hurt, are you? Vernon, Fair you enough. son of a bitch! Holy... That's not Vernon. Put Clementine back on, Vernon. dick. Put Clementine back on! I want to talk to her! That's not Vernon. What do you mean? Fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you mean? You're fucking dead. You're you and your friends are dead. We'll find out what happens next time in episode five, No Time Left. And yeah, the the game ends on a uh, on a dour note. Clem's been kidnapped by this mysterious man. We've been bitten by a zombie, so it's only a matter of time before before we uh, before we turn. So we've got a one last little. If anything we've done right in this game, it's to save this girl before we turn into a zombie. But let's look at her stats really quick. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? No. Uh, you and twenty percent percent of players did not kill him. That counts if you. Have Kenny kill him, or if you walk away. So, obviously, if you kill him, it's a slightly different result. Uh, Hippocratic Oath, did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 42% of players threaten or lied to him to get him to come with us, even though I said I, I was fine by myself. Home Alone, did you bring Clementine with you? If you 52% of players left her home. We gotta protect her. She's a precious. I for, I, I'm trying to remember. I think I took her with me the first time I played as well, but I don't remember what she actually does or whatever. I think... Like, I think certain things happen, like, I think if you leave, like, actually, I think if you bring her with you, I think it's impossible for, like, certain, like, Molly to be lost or something like that. I think Ben can still die, but she's more shocked when you, like, either shoot him or let him die. Molly, I'm not sure. I could swear something happens to where you prevent her from uh, leaving you, if not. Um, and uh, For whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 54% of your players let him go. Because he was a fuck up. No, I think the first time I played, I also saved him as well. Because it, despite what happened, he you know deserved redemption and he felt bad for what he did. But I just wanted to show what happens when you don't save him. I'm basically purposely trying to do all the wrong, well not wrong, but all the nastier options. Because most people who play this game the first time did all the best options, you know that type of thing. 
And the bite revealed. Did you reveal the bite to the group? You and 90% of players hid the bite. We don't want them to know. Although we could have taken them with us. That final scene there is a little bit longer if you brought other people to the group and they all have something to say about the situation. Um, as far as I know, if you ask people to come, I think Omid and Krista go anyway, no matter, no matter what you said throughout the game, I think. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I'll have to remember that, because I could swear there's like one or two people that always go with you, no matter what, if you ask for help. Uh, Kenny could possibly not go if you went against him throughout the whole game and you never chose anything to help him with. He'll never, like, there's no way you can... Well, actually, no, there is a way to convince him, but it's really hard to do it if you never take a side ever in the game. Um, actually, even if you take a side in most cases, there's still a chance he won't come with you. You have to mention that uh, Clementine's like a daughter to him to convince Kenny to go. So you can actually get everyone to come. Molly will come. As far as I know, I think Molly comes too. Yeah, Molly can come. Ben can come. I think Ben comes if you save him. Obvi he'll obviously come with you because he, he you know, you uh, saved him. So um, he, he owes a debt to you. Uh, yeah, Molly, I think you have to convince her to come too, despite everything. I guess if you save her, I think she also owes you a debt too. Uh, but yeah, Molly can be, uh, I guess I should talk about this during the credits as well, let them run. Um, oh, here you go. This is the last percentages. So, and it shows how many people had what percentages. So it looks like there's the, uh, Omi, Krista, Kenny, and Lee party. There's the Ben and Lee party. Yeah, which happens if you save, uh, save Ben. Uh, but don't convince anyone else. I think Chris and Omid can not come if you if you're mean to them throughout the whole thing, shoving Omid and all this other stuff. Um, then there's the Ben and Kenny route. It, there might be a choice, like when you ask for people to come, who goes and stays. Because remember, there is a chance the boat could get taken while you're gone. So that also lays into account like how the decision goes. And then there's the everyone. Oh, I guess Molly doesn't come either way. I guess she runs off. Because she can't, Molly can be saved, but I guess she just leaves after the whole instant or something like that. Never mind. I could have swore that she could, she go, she possibly goes with the group. I guess she just leaves after, after, uh, after getting back from uh, Crawford or whatever. Um, but yeah, the, there's the full party at sixteen percent. Then there's just the me and Chris at eleven. Then there's the everyone except Kenny, which is most likely to happen just because of his attitude. And then there's the whole just Kenny and you, your bros. Which that makes sense for being a high percentage. A lot of people have like the Kenny, Kenny Lee bro route. Which oh yeah, I think if you tell people about the bite, I think that inclines more people to help you too. If I remember correctly, or the lowest percent going by ourselves. Um, but yeah, if you go there with everyone in the party, everyone has a has a conversation blip about what's going on about about uh, Clem and what's going to happen and all this other stuff. Um, Vernon, even if you say Vernon can take Clem. Uh, the same situation happens. It's a whole case of he, if you say it's okay to take her, then he says he'll come in the morning to grab her, that type of thing. So the whole getting bit and everything still happens no matter what. So yeah, Lee being designated to the chopping block is guaranteed in the game. No matter what you do, Lee will will be bitten. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that was I I weirdly enough didn't expect that even though I should have because of how dark this game is in terms of just tone you think it would be pretty obvious to know that at some point we would get bit because that's probably where they're going with the with the, the story but uh but yeah that was a pretty intense episode as well it's been in uh it has multiple variations on how to get there yeah the same things generally happen but I like the fact that there are a lot of randomizations to it or randomization very a lot of little decisions affect like certain events and stuff like that but, uh, but yeah, I don't feel bad letting all these. Okay, maybe the first time I played, I would have felt bad for all those people dying. But uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show what happens if you're like a complete like either don't do anything or let everyone die, <laughs> that type of thing. Because almost no one ever shows that the first time around, unless you're like one of those gaming channels that shows all variations of each game. There are a few of them I've seen on uh, online about that. But I'm just talking about people who just generally play it once and just try to show the scenes. Uh, but yeah, that was a good episode as well. I think I had a lot of dramatic, intense moments, you know, a, a lot of character moments. I did skip a few character moments just trying to kind of go with the theme with how I've been playing Lee this whole time, you know. Too bad the game didn't save a couple of choices early on for whatever weird reason. But anyway, it looks like Lee is on death's door. He's only got so much time left and, and, and Clem is also at the mercy at some random person. Who is this person that's got uh, Clem in their sights? 
How long does Lee have till he turns? And what about the rest of the group? Will they be able to get that boat and survive without our, without our involvement? Find out next time in the next episode of The Walking Dead as we start episode four, uh, episode five. Uh, sorry, I was going to end it. In episode five, no time left. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.